During the last lecture, we have studied the Laplace transform, transfer function, and body plot. This lecture, we will discuss the AC analysis, which is a very important space function to give the body plot in the linear circuitry. So remember, AC analysis is a circuit uh, analysis tool that gives you the small signal linearization about a DC operating point. So by using the syntax dot AC in LTSpice, it will give you the body plot of a system. Basically, the small signal AC analysis computes the AC complex node voltage as a function of frequency. The syntax is as follows. Dot AC followed by the type of sweep, either octave, decade, or linear. And then we use the number of points per decade, the start frequency, and the end frequency. So AC analysis is very useful for filter design, network, and stability analysis. Let's continue the low-pass filter example from the last lecture. We have chosen R1, R2, and C1 to give minus 60 dB attenuation at 100 kHz noise. In this case, we use AC analysis. We set V1 as the only AC source. So this window shows the setup for voltage V1. We choose AC amplitude as 1 in small signal AC analysis setting. And then for the SPICE simulation command, we choose AC analysis. The type of sweep is decay. And we choose number of points per decay is 20. Star frequency is 10 Hz. Stop frequency is 1 MHz. And we click OK. So this is the syntax for the uh, AC analysis setup. Remember that we choose the AC amplitude as 1. The body plot of Vsense will be equal to Vsense over Vin because Vin AC amplitude is 1, and this is the only AC source. V2 will be ignored in the AC analysis. So this is the AC analysis result. If we click voltage of Vsense, we can see this is the body plot. Uh, the line, the solid line, shows the magnitude in dB, and the dashed line is a phase. The x axis shows the frequency in Hertz. This is the canonical form we have found for the low pass filter. The DC magnitude is 0 0.1, which is minus 20 dB. We found at DC, you see the magnitude is about minus 20 dB. And uh, at minus 3 dB, which is in total will be minus 23 dB, this is the pole frequency, which is found as 1 kilohertz. So everything is as expected. This is the same schematic, but we change V1. The amplitude is changed to 10. In this case, if we found the body plot of Vsense, it becomes 20 dB bigger because uh, the di disturbance at V1 is 10 times larger. 10 is 20 dB. If we ch use Vsense over Vin, so this is the transfer function of Vsense over Vin, it remains the same, even though you change the AC amplitude. For this two transfer function, the phase remains the same. They are overlapping. So remember, it's convenient to set the AC amplitude as 1, so that Vsense will be equal to Vsense over Vin in body plot. We have discussed the measurement function in LT space before. So now we want to show you how to use measure to find the DC gain and the pole frequency. This is the same schematic. The AC amplitude is changed to 1. So now we add two measurement syntax to find the DC gain 
and the pole frequency separately. So the left window shows how to find the DC gain. We choose the applicable analysis is AC. The result name is typed as DC underlying gain. Uh, we is triggered as the maximum value. So we measure the the value as magnitude of voltage at V sense. We measure the maximum magnitude. So this will be defined as the DC gain. On the right hand side, it will find the pole location at minus 3 dB. So we we use AC analysis. The result name is given as FP. And uh, the trigger uh, condition is the trigger condition is when the magnitude of V sense becomes DC gain over square root of two. So DC gain over square root of two in dB that means uh, the DC gain in dB minus three dB. So this is the location of the uh, pole frequency. We use the fall as the triggering edge because the as frequency changes, the magnitude of V sense decreases. So we are using the falling edge to trigger the measurement. If you run the simulation and go to the spice error log, or we use hot key as control and uh, L, we can find the result. You can see the DC gain as we defined is minus 20 dB. So this is the maximum magnitude. Uh, in the body plot, which is uh, our DC gain. The pole location FP is found as, uh, is this number from 999 to one mega. So this first condition is the frequency when the trigger condition is met at the first time. So this will be the pole location at uh, roughly one kilohertz, which matches with our design. Just to recap, in this lecture, we studied uh, AC analysis to find the body plot of the low-pass filter. You can use this method in any linear circuitry. In addition, we use the measurement function to find the DC gain and the single pole frequency at minus 3 dB. Thank you very much. See you next time.